um, hello? Oh, I think I must have gotten the wrong address. Surely this tiny house couldn't be what my parents have sent me. Ah, you there, servant. Where's your master? I'm here for the Interspecies Cultural Exchange Programme. Though so I would rather be at home. Hmm? Oh, I see. This must be some sort of human waiting area. It's a rather tight fit. Selfish humans as always. Not catering for other beings. I've always hated coming to the human world. Though it is nice to feel bigger than everyone for a change. Hmm? Sit here? Well, alright. How long will your master be? I want to get this over with quickly so I can return home to the palace. Oh. You're going to interview me? Well, fine. Whatever. Let's just get this over with. So, when will I be getting a tour of your palace? I didn't see any around here. Stay here? Absolutely not. I, I refuse to live in a hovel for even a day. I am of a noble royal family. I'm a purebred princess and you expect me to live in some, some tiny house? I'm leaving at once. I don't care about diplomatic relations or anything my stupid parents may say. I refuse to lower myself to be part of such things. You know what? Fine. I'll stay to take this idiotic interview. But only so that my parents think that I actually tried. Don't get any ideas on getting me to stay. My mind is made up. There's nothing a mere commoner can do to change it. Eventually, my parents will just give up and send some diplomat to do this instead of their own daughter. I hate it when they pressure me to do things I don't want to do, just because I'm royalty. I didn't choose to be born into such a big responsibility. I mean, to be among the first to take this interspecies cultural exchange program is a lot of pressure. Not to mention that everybody walks past me and stares at me. It's embarrassing. I'm used to people looking at me. Being a princess and all, but normally people look at me and they look happy to see me. But all these humans, they... They just think of me as some kind of freak. Some... some horse that they have to put up with. Me and my people deserve to be treated with honour. That is deeply embedded into my culture. Respect and strength. I hold these values in very high regard, but I'm sure you wouldn't understand. You have no idea what it feels like to be forced into this situation. To be looked at like you're a freak, and you know that you're so much more. Hmm? You... You do? No. Ah. Uh, I see. Well... That explains why you're so open to the idea of letting me into your house. Uh, well, thank you for understanding. And there's no need to apologise. It's my duty after all. Uh, oh no, no, we shouldn't end the interview. I, I should probably hear what you have to say so that I may report back to my parents. Um, also, well, I, I do apologise for being so harsh to you earlier. You seem like a nice person. So, I'll speak frankly. The reason I was so harsh to begin with is because most interactions I've had with humans have 
being anything but understanding and sympathetic. They just laugh and neigh at me. I'm not a horse. I'm a girl too. Just because I look a bit different doesn't mean I deserve to be made fun of. I suppose I have lived a rather sheltered life. I don't know much about my own world, let alone yours. Maybe that's why my parents wanted me to do this so badly. <laughs> to get some perspective on how good I have it. Well, it certainly is humbling. And you, you say you have an appreciation for my culture. I wish to learn more about it. Well, I suppose that's very decent of you. Hearing me and my people out before you subject us to insults and ridicule. Well, I'm not going to stay here, but I, I can tell you some things so as to not insult any future centaurs that, may, that you may have stay. Would you like that? <laughs> well, first off, you must never ride upon our backs or... <laughs> you already know that one. That that's good. It's probably the most common misconception that humans make. That we're just horses for you to ride. We aren't animals. We think and act like most humans. There isn't that much of a difference, honestly, other than cultural. You should treat us as someone from a different country. We're all the same inside. Well, you you know what I mean. So, I will need to know a bit more about this program so that I'm able to convince my parents that he actually did talk about it. Can you tell me a bit more about it? Hmm? You think you can convince me? Well, I'll let you have a shot. Don't get your hopes up too high. Ah, so I'm the first centaur you've met. How <laughs> lucky you, getting to meet royalty on your first time. Uh, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Don't say such things. <laughs> You'll make me all embarrassed. Ah, I see. That does make sense. So a renovation team will come and reconstruct your house to make life easier for me here once I sign all the papers. N not that I'm going to, but for someone else, of course. I see. And what amendments would they be making? Hmm. Ah. Interesting. I'm sure it wouldn't be anywhere near as amazing as my palace, but that does sound quite pleasant. And, as I understand, I would not be permitted to leave this residence alone. I would need to be accompanied. Honestly, this wouldn't be anything new for me. I'm used to being accompanied everywhere at a whim, but I don't suppose there's much to do here for me. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> well, that does sound interesting. I didn't know you had such parks in your world. Tell me more about these things I could do. A, a mall? Oh, I see. It's some sort of marketplace where you can buy clothes? Oh, oh wow, really? You can buy all that from just one building. I see. I've actually never been shopping. I just request items and they're brought to me. Being able to go and view all these items sounds like ever so much fun. Um, please tell me what other things I could do in the human world. I see. Sauna. What, what an odd word. And what exactly is this establishment? 
Ah, uh, I see it's a sort of steam room? <laughs> Why would you do something like that? Is it for health? Or relaxation? Fascinating. I had no idea such things were of benefit. If I simply must give this a try. Um, I heard all sorts of remedies and techniques you humans use to relax and cleanse yourself. From pastes you put on your skin to getting special rubs on your back to reduce pain. Oh, such wonderful discoveries I would love to learn and experience for myself. Humans are rather advanced when it comes to self-care. <laughs> we don't really have such activities in my world. Y you see, in the past, my forefathers were nomadic. My ancestors travelled around the land and were never really seen as an actual kingdom, since they never stayed in one place for very long. <laughs> Eventually, a hundred years or so ago, my great-great-grandparents decided to change that. They settled down and started building a home for the Centaur people so that we could establish ourselves a bit more. What I'm trying to get at is that, as of now, my kingdom, though beautiful and rich, has not got many businesses providing fun activities. For example, there's no such thing as a cinema, or a sauna, or even a mall to go shopping at. The people of my kingdom are strong and hard-working people. They feel as though they do not have time to spend having fun. And by the sounds of it, your world seems to have hundreds of fun activities to lift the spirits of the people. This could be incredible for my country. If I took inspiration from your world and brought it back, my... The economy would thrive. I'd be known throughout the land as a princess or future queen who brought the worlds together and advanced our kingdom more than any ruler before. My people would be happier and there would be more jobs, decreasing the population of poverty. Goodness, I think I've started to understand why my parents wanted me to do this so desperately. You make all these things seem so exciting. No one has ever explained it like this before. Everyone else made it sound like such a drag. Like I'd be shipped away and be made a spectacle of. I didn't think it could be fun and I would actually learn stuff. But I'm sure many people will still not be accepting of my kind. It'll be hard for sure. But you... My loyal attendee, you will help me, right? I don't trust humans easily, but something about you and your attitude makes me feel comfortable with you. Look, I'll be honest, as much as I hate to admit it, it I'm actually starting to think staying here wouldn't be such a bad idea. In fact, I would very much like to experience all these things you've told me about. I, I, I know it's going to be hard. I'll have to represent my entire race, and I'm frankly quite a bit scared. But if you're willing to help me, I, I think I can do it. You've been really nice to me. Even before, when I was being mean and snobby. I realise now that there's no way to present myself. I guess I explained it before. I, I was just on guard. I, I didn't want people to think less of me. Not many people are sympathetic enough to understand my struggle. So I do admire that. And so... I would like to humbly request that you accept me into your home and show you all the wonders of your world so that I can grow and learn and bring our worlds together. Really? You'll accept me into your program? 
Are you sure? <laughs> Thank you ever so much. I do appreciate you being so understanding. After all this, I do hope you come and visit my world as well. No, where are these papers I have to sign? Will you take me out to the sauna today? Oh, I'm most desperate to go. Or maybe the mall. I'd love to get caught up on your fashion so that I look my best. I'm sure my clothes aren't what looks good here. <laughs> really? We can go later? Oh, you're ever so kind. Uh, um... Thank you for hearing me out. And for convincing me to stay. I would have wasted this opportunity otherwise. You're officially my favourite human, and I can't wait to spend more time with you. <laughs>